Hello everyone. Welcome to this quick how-to that shows how to create a master details in Visual Basic application. First, you need to have a database that contains a master and detailed table. Of course, these names are just for an illustration, but you should understand the concept. The master table contains the information. Let's say, for example, in our the, uh, example here, you have the contact name and his address and we have the details ta table which contains the contact name and his phone number and uh, details about his phone number the idea here is that each person has a number of phone numbers okay and the people uh, the names of the people uh, do not uh, uh, do not duplicate okay so uh, this is basically uh, are, are the tables now let's look at the design the contact name in the master table is the is the primary key okay uh, we should close this one for the details we have the contact name and the phone number both forming the primary key and the contact name is actually a foreign key okay uh, okay uh, one last thing uh, if you go to database tool select relationships you want to create a one-to-many relationship the master uh, uh, table have one record and there are many records in the details related to that one record in other words a single person can have many telephone numbers this is what it, it means okay uh, well these tables are empty so I'm gonna fill some information so here we have the Smith from UK okay and uh, he has a number of phone numbers Smith uh, this is the first phone number and the details this is his work phone wait a minute oh the reason I didn't uh, accept that because I didn't save the record now uh, if I want to save it, it works. Now Smith again has another phone number, and this one is his home phone number. And let's save this. Done. Let's go and add Michael. He's from the States. Let's save this one. And let's go to the details. Michael has this his first num phone number. Uh, this one's for work and uh, again this is his second phone number also for uh, at work and the last one uh, okay wait a minute okay this one's for home okay and let's save this one now we have this information okay smith and michael uh, we are gonna close this one now yes and we are gonna create uh, a form in visual basic to see how to work with this one uh, first you need to display uh, uh, the the data source window okay so show data sources and here we don't have any data source for this project you click here to add a new data source uh, you select the database Se uh, select database and press next you select a new connection browse and you're gonna select the database here on the desktop okay test the connection it's successful okay uh, let's press next and it's asking if you want to embed the database with your project we don't want to embed that and uh, it's gonna ask if we want to save the connection yes we're gonna save that uh, we want to be able to access the master and details tables so we check them and press finish okay so now we have this form what we want to do is to display the master table okay uh, so we're gonna drag this one and draw, uh, drop it here but before I do that if you, if you see you can you, you can select uh, uh, w w which to display here uh, what I mean which control to display we're gonna use a data grid view and uh, here uh, so we are gonna drag and drop it here okay so this is the data grid view okay 
this is the master table the details if you open this one you can see the details over here you are going to select the details within the master drag it from here and drop it on the form okay and there you go okay so this is how it's gonna look like this is the master table and this is the details table let's save this first and let's run the application now oh sorry I forget something my computer is um, uh, this is a 64-bit application and this is why I'm getting an error if you are using a 64-bit Windows you should go to project and select uh, your project properties uh, go to compile and uh, select advanced compile option and select the target CPU to be 86 this is because the driver for Microsoft Access is uh, a 32 bit driver not a 64 bit driver okay now if we run the program it's gonna run correctly okay so let's see here uh, we are select uh, Smith is selected and we only uh, get to, to see Smith's details if we select Michael you can see the uh, display is updated with Michael details okay so this is Smith this is Michael uh, yeah so as simple as that uh, thanks to the wizard that helps us to, uh, do all of uh, all of the hard work uh, if you want to to uh, not use the wizard you can do it but uh, you will have to do lots of programming and it will be difficult so the, i hope this uh, quick how to helps you out with uh, working with the database and working with the database and uh, hope you'll find it useful that will be all Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.